Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, is your Astro Shaman inspiring brilliance with another one in the series Fate and Delusion versus Separation and Imagination. This is a pleasure. We're doing the North Node or Rahu in Sagittarius. The North Node in Sagittarius will have K2 in Gemini or the South Node in Gemini. The focus that we're going to put for the organ on this one is going to be the lungs left and right baby now the liver is also something that works really hand in hand with this and it will represent more of Sagittarius the lungs as we know and the hands that I'm using that we're going to show you how to heal with the lungs or the lungs with the hands are Gemini right and so a lot of this is working down into the nervous system how you know your nervous system is out of balance you're going to have things like dry cough you're going to experience asthma you're going to have difficulty breathing you're going to have tightness in your chest literally and the thing is the lungs store things like grief sadness okay Unlo not allowing you to detach and work towards the north node aka in Sagittarius or Rahu in Sagittarius allowing you to separate from your father figures not forsake them not deny them or their importance but realize where and how their mentorship and their guidance has been beneficial for you and will continue to be that way as long as you honor your own self need to accept your ideas and your beliefs and this is the north node why father figures or gurus will not be the most satisfying for you in this particular life with the north node so i'm going to take a couple key points here we're going to focus on a qigong as well help you understand the different sounds the major time frame time that the lungs is going through something is from 3 a.m. to 7 a.m. so think about what's happening during those times right you're getting ready to wake up but it's one of the things where the north node in Sagittarius or even the ninth house Rahu in the ninth house these are things where your natal system a lot of times Rahu will feed the negative delusion and actually find ways to have you consume foods or negatively impact the lungs in a way where you create mucus and once you block that nasal airway pathway you no longer have access to your guides 222 on screen so when you lose access to the angelic voices and the guides and the animals what they're telling you you're going to fall back into the south node and negative frequency of basically group thought okay pod mind being intertwined and engaged with your entire identity and the society that you coexist from which is why the North Node in Sagittarius wants you to feed traveling abroad. It wants you to feed and diving in cultures completely outside the borders and boundaries of your own culture. And as you do this, we're going to get into some of the headlines, some of the affirmations that was going to go down. Make sure you check out our membership course because we're going to be doing it this Sunday coming up. All right. So um, we have some remedies that's going to go down for these things, different teas, different herbs. I can tell you right now, one of the major remedies with the lungs, the lungs are dry. The natural environment of the lungs are dry. And so crying, believe it or not, is one of the reasons why some of the symptoms are incontinence with your urination, stopping and going, peeing a little bit, little bit, little bit, little bit, never able to empty your bladder fully, right? And a lot of this is kind of saying that you're out of balance in your relationships. You're not circulating the chi in your body. And once you don't circulate the chi in the body, which is what the lungs are responsible for, a lot of times it's linked to Gemini's past life, okay? That mutable air, when it gets blocked, all these other negative symptoms start to happen, stopping you from living a life that's actually free, fulfilling, where you no longer try to manipulate and control other people's point of view. One of the main things that happens with the North Node or Rahu in Sagittarius. When you have that Rahu in Sagittarius, the Manipulation of other people's point of view is one of the major things you want to go ahead and watch out for. So other headlines that we have here is being dissatisfied with life, okay? Um, really struggling with optimism, really struggling with having faith in the process. This North Node and Ninth House really goes through a lot of blocked Ajna and blocked crown chakra. You lose faith in God or you don't even believe God exists, okay? Um, finding ways to intellectualize everything. How The how you get to X, Y, and Z is one of the things you struggle with the most because of the intellectualizing. You try to figure out solutions from a logical mind, aka K2 and Gemini, which K2 wants you to separate from. 
And once you, and as long as you try to do that, you will find yourself miserable. Okay. Some more headlines having obsessions with sharing all of your discoveries. This is something that Gemini is good with circulating the information, but Sagittarius needs to actually take its revelations and not share it right away, not share it with any immediacy and actually look at it and go, look, I'm going to go take some time back, reflect in nature and think about this a little bit longer and not share my ideas so that it really is me and God. All right. Having a discussion where we can communicate. So different headlines we have is learning how not to box your learning in, which is what happens with the North Node in Sagittarius. OK, North Node in Life House, your learning is boxed from past life into what is the societal standards. But when you start traveling abroad, when you start meeting cultures for different skin colors than yours, different language, different foods that they digest, this is when the matter starts to happen. So the whole thing with the North Flow is about starting to embrace quiet time. And most importantly, with K2 and Gemini, you must at all costs avoid gossip. As long as you are engaged in gossip, you will find yourself confused and you will lose track of your own identity. Your identity will become that of the society that you're engaged with rather than you and what you need to essentially skin, expand your mind, expand through the intuition. This is a number one thing or placement of working with the intuition, okay? When you get an intuitive hunch, the first one, you must follow it, especially if it brings you joy and especially without fear, okay? When you are not afraid, which you likely will be because you're worried about what other people think about you. This is an axis between Gemini and Sagittarius where the North Node in Sagittarius really worries heavily about what other people think about it and it really is a restraint it keeps it within the boundaries within the borders and this is not good for it okay this is the queen Kong's relationship to cancer from sagittarius i want to belong and so in order to do so boom here's what i'll do but the problem is when that happens you start finding yourself miserable dissatisfied unlucky really lacking any gratitude okay and then you get stuck in the sense of belonging to the society back to k2 and gemini all right so less the other thing that's important with this is really learn how to stop censoring your speech because the south node in gemini south node in the third house all right is really somebody who censors their speech in every situ situation because they have learned the manners of being in society so there's certain societal manners that you're being asked to let go of in this life now let's talk about what create what k2 craves i'm going to put this up on screen k2 craves Okay, God speaks through you, so never lie, and you'll say the truth, and know that I'll say the truth once, okay, and everything that comes after the truth that one time is a lie. I crave your trust. Trust in me. Take the adventure, the one that scares you, and I will reward you, and I will reward your patience as well. Rely on my prophetic insights, and freedom is yours. Trust and receive, young Sagittarius. Now, K2 is on the other side saying, please, others will suffer. You will suffer as long as you continue to please others. All right. Understand what I'm saying. When I say feel and not think, this is when you're going to really meet the magic. OK, everything you think is unacceptable. Is not. <laughs> I will confuse you. And your entire identity will continue to fade into the complete abyss in the darkness. Relax your nervous system by thinking less and releasing the need for answers, especially from the logical mind. I will show you that you are connected with the divine. Less is more, child. And so this is what K2 and Rahu are saying. The North Node and the South Node. South Node and Gemini. K2 and Gemini or North Node and Sagittarius. Kate, uh, Rahu, Rahu and Sagittarius. Now, I'll take one from each, like each and every one of the other ones. Here's what you're here to develop. You're here to develop integrity over trickery, okay? Because Gemini in the South Node is really trying to trick everybody and is a master at manipulating, especially through words. So you have to learn to release the words because the words within itself are what's going to start to trick you, okay? Rather than focusing on integrity with your word, the universal truth. Now, here's your Achilles heel. Your Achilles heel is, uh, I'm going to use reliance on intel over your intuition. So in your past life, if you had the facts, if you had the data, then that's all you needed to succeed and survive and as well manipulate other people. But in this life, if you try to do that, what you will do is unintentionally, you will lock yourself and bind yourself. You will actually put a cage around yourself. You will start attracting your twin of who you will manipulate you 
just as successfully. So as long as you're trying to manipulate somebody and you're trying to do so by facts and information, you will find that you will block your intuition and you will find a twin that will manipulate you. Now, part of your past identity, understand that um, one of the things is beyond being a chronic people pleaser, you are actually somebody who has the gift of gab and you are a small talk specialist. So we're going we're gonna to talk about this in our membership. So come join us live because you likely have this placement somewhere. You likely have this house somewhere. Understand that we're including your Vedic charts, which you have like 25 charts. You're including your NATO chart, your solar return chart. Somewhere within your chart, you have this access, I promise. It, everybody does. Okay. In your past identity, you were somebody a small talk specialist. So in this life, small talk, gossiping actually is something that completely traps you. It makes you feel absolutely miserable when you have the south the north node in the ninth house or the north node in Sagittarius you're miserable you can't engage in small talk it has to be deep or you take your time and you spend it alone you have to say something with meaning and optimism and joy and not get caught in the negativity of what small talk and gossip can bring that was your past life let it go okay so one of the illusions is that you know respect is in the environment that you're immediately surrounded in. In reality, that's not respect for you. It doesn't work for you in this life, okay? You being respected in your environment is a Queen Kunk's relationship between Gemini and Capricorn, okay? But the difference is you with the North Node in the Ninth House or North Node in Sagittarius, you have to have an internal deep respect with yourself. And when you do that, and what that actually means is having an internal and deep respect with your relationship with God and being able to communicate and receive the blessings of the angels, okay? So one of the illusions is that you have to um, take care of everything in this life. In reality, you're, you cannot handle everything in this life. Okay, If you have your South Node in Gemini, you did that and you were responsible for that for yourself and your own mind, your own thoughts. In this life, the weight and the burdens that you carry are way too big for you alone. You have to rely on your angels. You have to rely on your, your cosmic family and ancestry from outer space and beyond. From other realms and realities if you think you're going to handle the pressure in this life without their support and you block it off i'll tell you one of the key things you have to keep your nose which is the channel to jupiter and access to divine information and wisdom you have to keep your nose free and clear of mucus meaning don't eat sugar literally do not eat sugar okay now here's one of your major needs to uh to have your point of view understood versus heard Okay, so in past life, like people heard you, they heard you, heard you, heard you, you know, but no one was really listening. And as a part of that, one of your biggest wounds is to develop learning how to position yourself to be actually understood. And I'll tell you right now, the only way you're actually going to be understood is if you allow yourself to release the superficial. Anybody that's not willing to sit there and understand your point of view while you also make space for their point of view without judging or attaching and trying to change their point of view like you used to manipulate in your past life with the K2 and Gemini, then you're going to win. Okay. Now, as for your intuition, one of the things that's important is um, no fear, no ego, all truth. Okay. So with your intuition, you can, if you are experiencing fear, then you're likely not really following your intuition. Your intuition won't come with fear. It'll be Gemini's fear of what other people are thinking. If you come with the ego, again, this is Gemini being I think, but thinking from an ideology, thinking from the mind, thinking from air as an element rather than fire, which is a part of divinity. So when you think like that, then you're going to be trapped. It has to be all truth. So when I say all truth, I mean not the truth only in my society of other black people where, oh, if you cook food long enough, it's going to be the best. And it's like, no, actually, in reality, we're doing this in the lungs or something that you should be cooking food lightly to keep them hydrated and not dry to avoid things like asthma, X, Y, and Z. And that's why black people have asthma. But that's a societal truth. Now, a universal truth is following the truth and laws of nature. Okay. And the laws of nature says, I need to just drink more water and I need to not cook that food so much. Or as an example, if that's what your intuition tells you, only you will have that answer because each body type is different. All right. So as for your angels, the key thing is adventures. Adventures equate to joy for you and you must follow your yes. Now, the thing is, you're going to have a goal and you need to have a specific goal. When you do, you have to follow that adventure. And when you first have that initial hunch that says, yes, I spontaneously say yes. If you don't follow that, Rahu will actually not the South. No, Rahu will start to tell you lies in your mind and they will trick and confuse your intuition. So this is one of the downsides and big warnings about this 
nodal axis with Sagittarius and the, the angels cannot support you if you don't follow your first hunch. When you get the feeling of, I need to take this flight, but I don't have the money and I don't know why, but my first hunch was, yes, you should get on that plane, everything will clear. All your goals will be accomplished along the way and all the blockades will be taken by your angel. But it usually requires a tremendous amount of faith. I know this from personal experience. I promise the money will just land in your pocket. Okay. Now, one of your superpowers is, hmm, I'm going to choose the social mannerisms, okay? So the thing is, you have to live your life uncensored with your voice and what you publish. You're a great auditor. You need to auditorate for mass groups of people, okay? Not for your little immediate environment. As long as you're doing that, you're going to be miserable. So my thing is, when you speak without censorship, you have to understand now that in your past life, you learned social mannerisms. So you have to almost go a little bit on the extreme the other side and kind of let go of understanding social etiquette and speak your mind and be willing to lose those people and realize you were better going to attract the right people who you will prefer to socially engage with. But the hard part is you won't meet them beforehand. Okay. Now, uh, here's one of the affirmations and self-reflection questions. I got about eight, 16, 16 affirmations in here and uh, another no, I think maybe more, like 24 affirmations and other eight self-reflection questions. I'm going to give you a couple from each. Now, one, affirmation. I win when I accept angelic support. Okay, I gave you another one. My guys carry most of the weight. I am free of duty. Okay, boom. I gave you another one. My boundaries inspire others to respect me. you got to have boundaries with this placement. Okay, now I'll give you one more on the affirmations. Letting others be themselves is a victory for me because again you like to control the point of view of other people so that they can understand you that's what you're thinking but they will never understand you life is not set up to work out for you in this lifetime doing that and trying to control their mind you have to, you have to gain control of your own nervous system okay and moderate what you share now now next as for self-reflection these are not affirmation you're self-reflecting questions okay do i feel my point of view is validated or am i tense Okay, so if you're tense, you're likely having difficulty breathing. You're breathing really labored. <laughs> you might be breathing more, right? So now the next self-reflection question is, am I stimulated? Am I overstimulated? All right, and that's the only term I give you now. There's like literally 10 to 11 more. So why don't you hit the thumbs up and the likes button, ladies and gentlemen, if you enjoyed this. Consider joining our membership. We're going to be doing the Qigong, teaching you the colors associated with the organs, the sounds associated with the organs. I give you a hint. Like a snake. That's one of the sounds associated with. Okay, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. The lungs. The lungs. And then shh are associated with the liver. Okay? So these noises are paired with certain exercises that we're going to do with our hands, with our movement, and with our breath. Okay. Just that quickly, you noticed my energetic vibration. Just that quickly. Change. And that's connecting with God on demand and immediately. Okay? Um, we're going to show you all these things, but again, we're going to do real qigong. So we're going to do the movements that's going to help you, okay, through this. Hit the thumbs up and the likes button. Consider joining our membership. We just had three new in the last month and a half, and it's a incredible time to be alive. So. Without further ado, I want to say thank you for being here, watching this fate and delusion versus imagination and separation. North Node, South Node, K2 Rahu series. All right, this is your Astro Shama inspiring brilliance? <sighs> Love.